I've been practicing for 41 years and had the opportunity to come back to my hometown. I was born in a nearby town in West Point, Mississippi, and I've had a very, very exciting career here in Columbus. I found a great need for uh, medical care here, just you know, observing my family and their needs for health care and how long they had to wait for an appointment, how long they had to wait in a doctor's office to see a doctor. Uh, I did have some calls from the uh, from the physicians, which was very important. And I think that's very important to to know who you're going to work with. Thirdly, I, I had a unique opportunity to come here in the summer of my uh, third year of residency at UAB, and I worked um, a week when two of the doctors were out of town and it gave me a real clear insight into the need that the community had for more help. Uh, the biggest challenge for me was not about where I was going, it was what would I do. I, I found myself in love with every discipline of internal medicine. I took a rotation in cardiology and I wanted to be a cardiologist, GI, I wanted to be a gastroenterologist and so forth throughout the first year of my training. and. Um, it, for me, it was more about could I participate in clinical trials, do research, um, or could I teach? And, and I was really struggled with the question of whether I would be a, uh, have an academic career or conventional internal medicine practice. Little did I know that I could come to Columbus and in time I could do both, which has really worked out nicely for me as we launch our internal medicine residency next month. In giving advice to residents that are looking uh, at job opportunities, I've had a you know quite a long tenure in recruiting and have recruited 30 or 40 doctors since I've been here. And I can tell you that number one on their list of concerns is call. And that basically is how much time am I going to be away from my family delivering medical care at the hospital or for my group or for both. So I think that's that's number one. Number two very close to the top as well is what does your spouse think about this opportunity? Is this a good fit for her or him? Uh, thirdly, I think the infrastructure of the site that you're going to and can they meet the needs for, for the procedures that you've learned to do and look carefully at what you want to deliver in a community and make sure they have the infrastructure to support you.